Hi everyone, it's been a long time since I've been able to uh, make a video, but today seems like a good time as any because I'm not getting anything done. So I just figured that I'd sit down and try to get some details out to you. Uh, uh, it's been a rough several months, had a relapse, had to end up going back on medication, which I do not desire to be on medication. But due to some unforeseen family discord, I was impacted by them, so I had to go back on medication. So I'll give you one thing. The medication I'm about to show you has made me feel better than any other medication that I've taken since I've had multiple sclerosis and was diagnosed in 2009. So, I'm not sure if it'll, I'm really bad at this. This is called Tecfidera. You see that? Thank you. Tecfidera is a oral pill. It's got some, it's hard to explain, but it jiggles inside, almost like the old cold medication, you know, like contact. I think that's what it would call it, contact 24 hours. This little blue pill, not that blue pill, different blue pill. And it jiggles. I don't know. So I've been taking them. They are 240 milligrams. And uh, before you go, you know, running to your neurologist saying, oh my gosh, Tracy told me there's really good MS medication. I've got to get on it. I first have to tell you that um, there's a whole bunch of side effects. But most of all, and most annoying of all, is... Um, they call it in a nice way flushing whereas I will interpret their nice way of saying turning fire engine red and your skin itching like fire ants have just bitten you all over your body it is not pleasant so I recommend you never run out ever because the next 24 hours when you start taking them again your skin is going to be on fire and it is a real so, in any event, the side effects usually dissipate over time, and mine did, actually, quickly, and you know how I deal with things like that, and it's my Hello Kitty. Filled with chamomile tea. And chamomile tea nips it right in the butt. So, uh, let's see. I've been doing some new things. Uh, you all know I'm very uh, much in creativity and painting and sewing and crocheting and, and making cute little things and jewelry with clay. And then I was into wire wrapping. All of these things I'm still into. I've just probably added something else to the list. I do like doing lots of creative things. And I'm pretty good at all of them. So it's really not the kind of thing that I can just put aside and say, ah, well, I wasn't very good at that. I, mean, I usually I usually have pretty good progress with them. So my newest endeavor is that I've decided to join Stampin' Up. Now, Stampin' Up, I'm sure I've, I've known about Stampin' Up since I was a teenager. Uh, hold on. Leaving the break. Sorry. Um, this is the end. Look at there? Share the fun. They got me. So, I have actually, I've got a great demonstrator. Her name is Brandy Cox. She's awesome. She's very, very sweet. She's got a lot of videos on YouTube. And what can I say? She wooed me in. So, during, during this time of year, between, I think it's January 5th and March 31st, there's a time in there in Stampin' Up's uh, program for the year, and it's called Celebration. Now, what Celebration does is Celebration uh, gives you discounts and free product for every $50 that you spend in the annual catalog or on clearance or what have you. They give you free product. And... Uh, you can pretty much go to Google and type in celebration, and um, it'll come up. Anyway, my demonstrator, Brandy, had told me if you really want to become uh, a hobby stamper, which is more like 
um, getting I get a 20% discount and uh, how that uh, figures I could put it pretty easily if, if you bought $200 worth of products you get it for 160 and that's from my own experience so that's that's basically what you get so if you could just ballpark it to find out how much you'd, you'd be spending it automatically lowers your prices on the website and, and you and you get your order in about six days it's wonderful and she said that if I joined as a hobby stamper uh, with Stampin' Up! during Celebration, you'd get the starter kit. Now, you can get a starter kit all year round, but the starter kit usually costs a $99 fee. But then you'd get, uh, I think it's $125 worth of products inside. So basically, they're giving you like, I don't know, $25 or $30 of free products. And that's regular during the rest of the year. Not during celebration. No, 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 no. During celebration, if you come on with Stampin' Up! and you commit to be a hobby stamper and purchase, uh, I think it's it depends on each demonstrator, but if you purchase a certain amount every month, then uh, you're in good standing and you just keep going, keep getting your discount. And there's lots of little, you know, quirks and stuff. And I earned my first hostess set, which was... I love you so, S-E-W, and sign the so and a crafter. I got that set. Thank you, Brandy. So, whereas I might not do a lot of parties, I haven't really uh, worked on workshops or such, uh, you can gladly shop through me if you'd like, if you don't have a demonstrator. If you do, you'd use your own demonstrator. But, here's the thing. During the time of celebration, if you you if you want to join Stampin' Up you get that starter kit you pay $99 flat no shipping but you get are you ready another $50 in free products $50 so you know I did it and I love it and I've gotten um, my thing was, is I had watercolor paint and I don't know if anybody else on here, and I'm sorry if I go in all these different directions, but, um, I have found that the re-inkers for various ink pads are really basically water soluble color that you can use for water coloring. Well, that's where I was. They got me, they got me very interested in the re-inkers, but I wasn't really in interested necessarily in the stamping. So, one thing led to another. I started looking into inks and stuff and stamp pads. And that's when I went to check out some videos with Stampin' Up. And I, I, I actually had a few uh, that I picked up along the way. I don't know, on eBay or something. And I tried them and I found that they were the best ink on the market that I could find in a re-inker. Now, I didn't have any ink pads, but I had a couple of re-inkers. And they were absolutely stunning, the amount of uh, coloring. I used uh, Stampin' Up! Reinkers in my resin. I've used Stampin' Up! Reinkers in my polymer clay. And, of course, in my watercolor. So then I thought, and it all ended up leading to, well, maybe I should try some of their stamp pads. Now, I had just gotten several Hero Art stamp pads. And I, I got a lot of them. Like, I think I got, like, 15 or so. I got quite a few. And I used them. And, you know... With stamp pads, it's a love-hate relationship. Either you love them or you hate them, and I hated them. I hated the Hero at Arts stamp pads. I can't describe it. We did not get along. It was just, it was not the stunning uh, coverage on the stamp that I thought it would be. Um, it was also very weak in the pigment when it came to uh, using it with my aqua painter and with even my paintbrushes, because I use paintbrushes. I, don't, I very seldom use an aqua painter. So with that being said, I sold all of my Hero Arts ink pads and I decided I was going to start um, getting my hands on some of those ink pads from Stampin' Up! And then it started to be uh, seeing some uh, works of some of the uh, demonstrators on YouTube and I started fishing around and that was it. I was in and they got me. And they could get you too. And you could be with me if you really wanted to. I'm pretty creative and all. I just have to get organized and remember that I have a blog. And I have to update it. And I have a YouTube channel. And I have to talk to you. Ah, uh, my memory's so bad. It's 
pretty crazy. In any event, Stampin' Up! Celebration. Get $50 additional free product when you sign up to be a hobby stamper. And you get all these catalogs in the package. And I, you take these catalogs to, I took mine to Office Depot or Stampin' Up! or wherever you have by you. Staples probably does it. And they put this machine that punches holes and they bind it for you like this. And that only cost me $4. So what I did was I have all my catalogs. I can open it wide. I can fold it over. And I got that idea from Brandy Cox. She has a YouTube channel, by the way. Uh, Brandy, B-R-A-N-D-Y, last name Cox, C-O-X. And she also has a website, brandyscards.net. So you can fold it back. Now, these are um, colors of the markers. And then you have, look at these. You see these ink pads? These ink pads are awesome. They're the best ink pads on the market. Their stamps are the best stamps on the market. I never understood why they would say they're the best in the market. But I've had Hero Arts. I've had, um, you know, I've had, I've had them all. I've had um, um, Lawn Fawn. Um, I've had, um, what's that one, Simon Says Stamp, you name it. I've had good stamps from Stephanie, uh, Stephanie's, uh, stamps. She's the Sussex representative. I think her name is Stephanie. She does really good stamps, but it's kind of cutesy. I really wanted it more for, like, um, the older type of people that I serve in our church with, uh, perhaps birthdays, congratulations, uh, sympathy, such like that. So I thought it was time to make an adult move and get out of the, you know, the cutesy little animals all the time. So I had to get off of her um, mailing list and start with Stampin' Up! So, slowly but surely, you build up your products. $150 worth of product is not going to be enough to satisfy you for all time. I'll warn you now. However, I will encourage you to be patient because not only does Stampin' Up! give you this great deal, this once-a-time deal where you pay $99 and get $150 of free, free, no, $150 of product, 50 of which is free. You pay $99, they give you $150. So if I were you, I would ask either myself or someone else to get you a catalog so you can start making your master plan, your master list. I think I've had five or six master lists since then. And get your hands on a good idea of what you would need to be happy and satisfied and move forward with your stamp. And then um, you'll be on your way. And um, there's just there's lots of fun stuff to do in it. And I really like their um, the brads and making flowers and you know, when you're retired, you got a lot of time on your hands, and I'm one of those people who just has way too much time on my hands. And that's a good thing, because I've always wanted to do my crafts. I've always wanted to work out my my artsy uses, and now I get a chance to, and I'm excited. So, um, anyway, to wind us up. Hmm, that's ugly. Yeah. Tech Federa. That's my new medication, 240 milligrams twice a day. Gives you horrible flushing for the first 48 hours of taking them, at least for me. I can't go the right way on these cameras. It's just weird. This is uh, a big, huge cup of chamomile tea that I swear by. It will calm you down and help you adjust to the medication. Um, it's everywhere I go. And, um, yeah, I guess that's it. So I'm going to get back on. I'm going to show you some of the things that I got from Stampin' Up! And we're going to go forward from there. I'm hoping that one of the uh, demonstrators will uh, get involved with me and help me to uh, get a blog going. Um, I hate to bother Brandy because she's so busy with her kids. Her kids are growing up. She's school busy. Hey, I'm blah. I remember those days. So I don't really want to be a burden to her. But um, I guess that's it. Is that it, Abby? Is that all we have to say? Yeah. Can you see? Say goodbye. Bye, Abby. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Okay. Well, love to all. And uh, check out my um, blogger 
my blog on Blogger, um, Slowly Losing My Mind. Uh, my name is Tracy Lustig. My email's the same everywhere. Little save girl. So uh, be well, be blessed, and check back with me. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to try to do these videos in this blog update thing. I'm really trying. Okay. Godspeed. Don't you hate it when your videos, you put them up on YouTube and they always seem to catch you in those frames when like you're like this? If I do it, I know that's going to be the one that it picks because there must be cool little minions in this YouTube thing. So I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to get them another pause.